Today, I'll be talking about my dear friend, John Day Cooper. She's 18 years old, a Taurus, and one of the sweetest people I have ever met. She's an aspiring artist, a decorator of fashion, and the living definition of black girl magic. John Day, or Day, is a test of her time, past, and future. Although, until recently, I thought John Day was just another African-American girl like me, with no traces of her history thanks to the slave trade. Yet John Day differs from that. She's directly from Liberia and holds the country and her culture true to her heart, no matter where she goes. Jean Day moved to America in 2008, yet she doesn't recall anything impactful from moving. Although, Jean Day does remember her life in Liberia was comfortable compared to other people. She had everything she needed, including the driver, a housekeeper, and security guards. However, there were some struggles being that Liberia is a third world country. She didn't have a washing machine or a dryer or a dishwasher in her house, so those would be handled by hand. The public school system is braggity for most children, but she went to a private school that functioned like American schools, comparatively not as bad as the education that other children would face in the country. The roads, as she describes, are booty, being either dirt roads or pothole infested. But there do remain some good roads. Janda experienced beautiful beaches and plentiful resources, but everything that makes her land of Liberia as stunning as it is continues to be stolen by foreigners. The poverty rate has been high since their second war because government officials are corrupt. Although, it wasn't a very hard transition for John Day to move to America since her family had always been between the two countries, but there are definitely huge differences. It is interesting for John Day to live in America because in Liberia, she would be considered comfortable or middle to upper class economically, but here she is considered poor and lives in an apartment complex. The wealth she shared with her family in Liberia did not translate well over to them coming to America due to America's own wealth and quality. Although, that's not to say her family isn't well off in Little Williamsburg, Ohio either. It just differs, especially when she was seen leaning upper class in her home then. Jande's family experiences this wealth due to coming from a line of political importance. Her family comes from the four classmates of destiny. Jande's own great-grandfather was president of Liberia twice, also known as President James Briggs Payne. Yet, despite Jande's rich cultural ties to Liberia and her pride of being black, her great-grandfather was mostly white. Through lineage and coarse mis mixing, her family became to be more black African. Her grandma, Sarah Hanke, is mulatto, being German and crew, while her grandpa, Sam Payne Cooper, comes from the 1-8th black James Briggs Payne lineage although their family was born as slaves. Despite this turmoil of being enslaved in the past, the Payne Cooper blood came to rise to be politically important and wealthy in Liberia. No matter where John Day goes or where her family ends up, they all carry the pride of Africa with them. Translating her love for her culture, country, and origin into art, as well as carrying around the story of her past to tell to anyone she meets, John Day is a proud Liberian as well as a semi-proud American, although it is hard to be proud of America.